Good morning. It is Tuesday, October 10th, 2020. I'm back here for Bed Talk number 146. As you know, I've been talking about feedback and the importance of feedback. And today, I want to talk about the third element in the list of great ways to provide feedback. As you might remember, number one is the feedback needs to be honest, clear, direct, and actionable. Number two is we want to use questions instead of statements. That was bed talk number 145 yesterday. What I'm going to talk about more in a moment is focus on the improvement opportunities. And number four, focus on impact. What's the impact of the performance, intended and unintended? And then number five is it's so important to give the feedback on the fly. And we'll talk more about that, those last two in the last couple of days. So today is back to focus on the improvement opportunities. What that means is we want to focus on the improvement part of the feedback more so than the what's not working or what didn't work feedback. Most feedback, however, even when well intended, ends up focusing on what went wrong. This is what you did wrong. This was not adequate. This, you didn't do this quick enough, fast enough, well enough, complete enough. Your communication was not where it needs to be. That's helpful, but that's just the identification of the issue. But what is feedback about? Feedback is about change, improvement, and growth. Let me say that again. Feedback is about change, improvement, and growth. So if we want to give some quality feedback around getting better, it needs to be focused on the improvement opportunity more than what it wasn't. So we want to focus on what it can be versus what it was. Make sense? So that's it for today. Tomorrow I'll talk more about feedback in the sense of focusing on impact. But for today, remember the best feedback focuses on the improvement opportunity more than what went wrong. Keep taking care of yourself and everyone around you. And by all means, stay connected.